Oh my god. Dude, it's worse. What? It's actually cracked over here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Three days before Expo West, and we were expecting to arrive right on time. At this point, we had traveled hundreds of miles through the Rockies, now in southern Utah, and it provided a lot of wear and tear on the trailer. Anything that we hadn't beefed up yet was bound to break. And yes, this is a foreshadowing. Stay tuned. Lake Powell was our destination. See, the shower system that we made on the trailer, we never once got to use it. It broke. So for the last 12 days, we were smelly bums. Thank God they make baby wipes. Guess what today is? Annie's birthday. Annie turns two today. Last year, Annie spent her birthday out in the Rockies, and it was snowing like crazy out. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! She's so happy. Out in the Rockies! Happy birthday to... Well, whatever. This year she gets to spend it on Lake Powell. Beautiful weather. The water is amazing. Happy birthday, Anners. Love you, little girl. Ready? Get in. Trying to get her to go up to deeper water. Get it, Annie. She put on zero pounds <laughs> this year again. 15 pounds. Whoa. Not a bad view inside Java here. Wow. So blue. Oh, I think I burnt the Rito. That is a burnt Rito right there. Whoa. This is for breakfast this morning. That's how you cook them. Turn that down a little bit. Holy cow. Any kind of downtime we have, it gives us a chance to look over everything on the rig, go through gear, figure out better ways to distribute weight because we're having some issues with too much tongue weight on the trailer right now. This is what you need to do during your downtime to keep up on things. You know, this is just part of the maintenance aspect of using and living out of your rig. That's the kind of stuff we're gonna be dealing with since we have done a lot of changes to Jade and the trailer, so that's all part of it. Obviously you gotta enjoy the lake and the sun as well, but the same time, got to keep up with their stuff too. What's the best technique you found out without using a clothespin to keep these clothes from blowing off? You basically just find their, uh, the sleeve of the shirt or the leg of the pant and you just tie it around it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's about it. We just tie them to the bungee cord since we don't have any clothespins right now. And then this, this roll bar works as a perfect attachment point, so really happy that we installed that. Hopefully never, but if we ever flip or roll the trailer, we have a roll bar. You know, that protects it and stuff. Yeah, it protects it. Yeah, no doubt. Besides doing laundry, we're also filtering the lake. Pretty cool drinking the water sources that you're camping next to. We do have some more damage done to the rig. Let's start with the, let's start with the jerry can. We added two more jerry can mounts on both sides of the trailer. We just, we welded on two spots and threw a bolt in and that just isn't enough. They need some bottom support. Luckily we pulled the jerry cans before they got too bad, but we need to add some support going from this jerry can mount up into the frame like the front ones are because they're just not strong enough. We had one weld crack right here. So they're just getting really loose. So we gotta beef up the jerry can mounts. Being that Jade's carrying so much extra weight in the rear end area, the military wrap style of these leaf springs was rubbing on the bottom of the frame. So the shackles were completely bottomed out. Even though we added longer shackles and added leaves, it's still doing that. And we ended up breaking a bolt. The shackle and the leaf spring are not even connected anymore. This bolt broke off. 
But once we distribute the weight on the trailer, then we should be able to get rid of some tongue weight. Which should ease up on these rear release springs and hopefully correct that shackle angle. We plan on getting a bunch of extra weight from Jade's rear end put into the trailer as well. Distributing the weight from at least the axle back to take some ease off that. That's what we're working on. We got everything pulled out. Now's the perfect time. The biggest thing I've learned from having so many different configurations with Jade, starting off with living on the road for at least a few months, only prepping the Jeep for five days beforehand. You accumulate things that you need as you go. You don't need to have everything right away. The way that you set it up when you leave isn't gonna be the way that it always stays. You learn and adapt as you go. You get rid of things and you add in the things you need. So. We knew that going in as well, and this is the perfect time to do that. So that's what we're doing. On top of that, it's Andy's birthday and the expos this weekend. I'm gonna get to meet so many of you guys. It's gonna be a great time. Cannot wait. Just like that, yep. So Ben's tying a string to the handle, staking it down to keep it out. When the wind picks up, since they pop out, the wind pops them in. That's the biggest downside about this so far. Other than that, it's working out really really well this road to expo west has been insane so far started off in northern new mexico through the rockies now off into utah and then we're gonna be heading south into arizona it's been a blast we're getting spun up fast on a lot of things you know we're no experts by any means but we're willing to do whatever it takes to to get spun up Ben and I just fixed the shower. We just added in this tube right here. It broke off. We're gonna have to trim this up, make it a little better, but hot shower. It's working it great. <laughs> oh. We put something together and it actually works. It feels good. So even though we've been on the road for two weeks. Uh-oh, it's leaking. Oh, I just blew a gasket. Oh, it's leaking everywhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why? Speak of the devil. See, I jinxed it. <laughs> we just kind of tightened some. It's, let's turn off the pump. I'm in Jabba the Hut right now. Ben's chopping up some dinner. Chopping away. I'm gonna make Annie an egg with some bacon fat. I'm gonna sprinkle bacon fat with an egg over dog food. Instead of a cake. For her birthday. Also, I'm not super prepared, so I don't have any candles. So maybe I'll just burn sticks or something. Or maybe, since she can't blow them out anyways, I'll just act like there's invisible candles because she doesn't know what candles are anyways. You've been a good girl this year, Anders. Proud of you. Here's the bacon too. We got Dirty Harry going. The Enforcer number three. Got the whole collection. Making some more burritos, right? Bagels, burritos, something. Bagels. Bagels, nice. Get it nice close. High lift jacks are not very user friendly and they can be a son of a bee out in the bush too. But right now that's all we got, so be able to lift the bumper up to throw in that bolt back in the shackle and bushing in the spring it's gonna be all we really need so like it's it's just a dumb design You're, we're better off melting it down into something more useful <sighs> seriously we just stopped in page arizona at a little ace hardware picked up a bottle jack because that high lift jack was not working worth the crap this morning so we're gonna do a quick in the parking lot fix. Got it. Nice. So, originally I put the bottle jack underneath the rear leaf spring. I then placed the bottle jack on this leaf spring and then put pressure up on the frame and it brought the leaf spring down. And that lined it up. What? You got everything under control there? <laughs> yeah, we do. 
Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You've been in the mud. Two bolts in. This entire thing is cracked. Oh man. Uh, well, we're getting tested here. We're about 15 minutes north of Flagstaff. We're about to find camping spot in some BLM land. And the leaf spring mounts on the trailer busted. This is the mount for the leaf spring connecting to the frame of the trailer. It completely sheared off and is cracked. So any weak point on the trailer now cannot handle the load. It's getting tested, it's breaking. This is how the shackle's supposed to look. And that one broke off. This shackle sheared off. The frame mount of this spring up front broke off. Completely needs to be redone. And the shower hose once again is broke because the wheel shoved up inside and broke it off. So that's where we're at. Wanted to go to Expo West at least one day this weekend. I think the trailer's incapacitated. Incapa incapacitated. The trailer screwed, man. <sighs> Just another day in paradise. It's all good, man. It's all good, right? No worries. About 10 minutes later, trying to figure out what to do. Our buddy Don that helped us do the projects on the trailer in Jade. He just got to Flagstaff today too and he has his van and a car trailer. We have service right now. There's so many different scenarios this could have been worse. Even though things are breaking, we're testing it out. Anything that's a weak point on the build, it's, it's failing. Could be way worse. We're doing the best we can. Don's probably going to be here in the next 15, 20 minutes just before sundown. <laughs> Don to the rescue. Yeah. <sighs> Tongue weight's a little better after distributing the weight. <laughs> Just before dark. Yeah, looks good. She's snug on there. We successfully have rescued the trailer. Now, oh, coyotes just lit up. <laughs> coyotes just lit up out here. Beautiful out here. We're gonna head to the expo grounds now. We're gonna stay on Don's camping spot tonight and we'll be right there for tomorrow morning. At least bring Jade in. Hey man, oh, he's got the beers already. Yeah, okay. He's pushing beer on you guys. <laughs> one right yeah, I now. think it, yeah, it's not a bad <laughs> no, idea. Road to the expo, a lot of breaks, but you know what? It's been fun. I don't care, man. I don't care what breaks. We can fix it. At least we didn't break our faces. That's harder to fix. Before I let you guys go, there are five wonderful people I'd like to thank. New Patreon pledges, helping to support this journey and keep this whole thing possible. Elixis Morrison, Johnny Fairbank, Gentry Smith, Johnny Deichman, and Charlie French. <laughs> We just got out to Lake Powell and we met Dylan and Steven with Trailbenders Overland. What's going on, These guys, guys are awesome. We've been talking to them. They've been showing us their cool rigs back there. I've been showing them the new updates on Jade and the trailer and all that. Great guys. We're going to meet Dylan at the Overland Expo West this weekend. Great meeting these guys. Yeah, Best of luck you. on your adventures. Great to meet you too. You too. <laughs>